Hello you guys, here is me, I'm Kelsey, and I am back with a brand new video. I just want to say that like, I've been noticing like my subscribers have been going up and I've been getting more reviews and I've been getting more comments and likes and things like that. So thank you so much. And you know what? I'm back to this hair. I have ne I, I actually have a whole like review the process of making this wig, the process, the review, the everything filmed. There's just like no time to edit it. But I'm, I think I might make like a review and then I might and I might end up posting the videos maybe even later. I mean, who knows? Like, knowing me, maybe like a year later, I end up posting this video. But for now, this is the hair from Tinashe Hair. What y'all think? I don't think you guys have really, I don't think you guys have even seen me in this hair. But I've had it for like I've had it for maybe like I've had it for a long time, like six not six months. Okay, that's crazy. Like five months at least. Five months. I've had it for like five months. And this is like my first human no 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 that's not my first human hair. This is my first good human hair wig that I've made. It's a 360 wig. This is not this video is not about the wig. I just wanted to tell you guys because I have it on right now. But it's a 360 wig that I made from Tinashe hair. That's where the hair is from. And it's in 18, 16 and something inches. And I'll show you how it looks like. There we go. It's nice and full. Look at that. <laughs> Tinashe got your girl clutched. Anyways, thank you guys so much for subscribing to my YouTube channel and I appreciate it so much and I hope you guys will subscribe more. I am getting, I am working, you guys see, we're, we're getting better at this and we're actually posting, I'm actually posting, I, are you guys proud of me? Because I'm proud of me too. Um, the reason why I wanted to do this video though, so as of, t not as of tomorrow, but like as of, when is the 30th? As of Saturday? On Saturday, it's going to be Congolese International Independent... Not International. It's going to be the Congolese Independent Day on Saturday, June 30th. And I just wanted to come here because I am a proud Congolese person. But yeah, so like I was saying, it's Congolese Independence Day. And I want to give you guys like... Just a couple of things that you need to know about a Congolese person. If you if you have Congolese friends, then you might be able to read some to some of the things that I'm saying. If you don't have Congolese friends, then you when you meet a Congolese friend, you'll understand. I'm a Congolese person. But I, like I was saying, I am a proud Congolese girl. I love expressing that I'm from Congo. I love expressing that I'm from a beautiful, rich beautiful country and i love being from a place where it's just it's just relaxation and beauty and all that so i'm gonna give you guys i don't know if i should give i, I don't know how she should count it or she should, I should just keep going you know what? i'm not gonna count it but i'm just give you guys some things you need to know about a congolese person wherever we stop is where we stop okay first thing <sighs> congolese people are like the loudest people ever. Like, I'm not even joking. It's especially, especially, what am I saying? Especially the ones that speak Lingala. If you don't know what that is, in Congo they speak Lingala, Swahili, Chiluba, and also other languages. But Lingala is one of the most, one of the popular languages. And then, and then there's French, and then Chiluba, and then Swahili. Or the other way around. I don't know. And the people that speak Lingala could be talking like they could be sitting down and having a conversation. But for some reason, they're just like so loud. And I don't speak Lingala, but I'm still loud. <laughs> but like the other people though, they're just loud. They're just loud people. I'm like, why are you people just so loud like they could be talking to each other like right face to face i mean like i have to talk loud because i'm talking to myself but i like, imagine the imagine the camera is another person and i'm and, I, heard, I heard something and i'm speaking to the camera and i'd be like talking to you like as if i mean <laughs> I'm speaking to you and i'm talking to you as if you're like a couple blocks away and i'd be like oh bote you know that's how you say hi you know what i mean i don't know now, the other thing, the Congolese people, if you are a Congolese person, then you know that Congolese people are like 
they oh my gosh they just they're, they're like fashionistas for days yo congolese people will dress up for any occasion they don't care if it's a funeral they don't care if it's a, a party they don't care if they're going to church they don't care if they're just walking down the street like they will dress up for anything and then it's like it's so cute and sometimes it's actually really cute like the little the dads the the parents or no the dads the male will be walking down like suits yo like suits yo suits for days everybody wears suits okay everybody loves wearing their suits suits for days like my grandpa is like the cutest thing ever like no matter no matter where he is going he always has a suit on he always has a suit on and he's cute and sometimes he has like colorful ones you know what i mean he has like a purple a blue sometimes they even have like african print suits you know how colorful african print is imagine that on a suit and also, Congolese people like to be like rainbows. In case you haven't noticed, your girl here always likes to look like a rainbow too. I like I always tell people, like my my aspirations in life is to look like a rainbow. That's what I tell people. I'm like, yeah, I want to look like a rainbow. But then, if you know me in person, you'll understand what I mean when I say that. Like, if you don't know me, you look at me like as if I'm crazy. You're like, girl, okay, do you? <laughs> but. Congolese people love color. They love color. My mom, my mom would tell me, why would you wear black? Black makes you look like you're going to a funeral. <laughs> like, I mean, you could be wearing black for just, if you're wearing too much black, she'd be like, why are you wearing so much black? Like, what, for what reason? Why can't you, why, why are you wearing just so much black? Why aren't you wearing some color on you? It's like, yeah, Congolese people love color. Like, they'd be walking down like pink, pink, pink shirts and blue pants and red shoes you know what i'm saying especially the guys would be work the guys would be in like a fucking full f sorry youtube a freaking full on like african print dress you know and like they have the african uh, african print suits what am i saying they wear the african print suits and like they will like have like a nice like hot red shoe at the bottom and they also have like um They'll have like their hair nicely cut, you know, they have a hat. They do the most, you know, people are just so extra. We're like extra human beings, you know. Some people will tell me like, you can go these people just always like to wear colors. What's wrong with you? I'm like, I can't, we can't help it. We can't help it. You know what I'm saying? We can't help it. We just love our colors. You know what I'm saying? It's beautiful. Why, why, why not express some color around? <sighs> Number four, Congolese people will talk. Oh my god. You know Congolese people are like the most the most out of all African cultures. I think Congolese people are the are the most that talk a lot. They will talk trash about anybody. Like if you could be going to church. You could be going to church. I am I, I can't you know we hear like, oh, black people, oh, black people go, don't go to church to pray, they go to church to judge each other. You think that's bad? Go to Congolese church. Go to a Congolese church, you'll... <laughs> there, isn't that better? I feel like... Anyways, you go to a Congolese church, you will know what I mean by it. Congolese people like to judge. Like, these people don't go to church to pray. These people go to church to show off their car. To show off their new outfits, to show off their their new hairstyles, to show off their makeup, and then and then if you go to church and you're not dressed according to the dress code, you're gonna get dragged. Like I mean, you're gonna get dragged for days. Like these people don't play, they don't play. So when you go to church, you gotta go to you gotta go to church clutched. Okay, you have to go to church clutched, so you don't get judged. Congolese people will talk. My mom, my mom is a crazy woman. Like, I swear she's crazy. Like, she could be walking down the street and somebody will be look, minding their own business, just looking in her direction. She'd be like, why are you looking at me? Huh? You don't, you don't see me in the same car. We, we, you know, uh, like, somebody could just be in a car driving. She'd be like, of course, this black person's looking at me, you know, showing off their car. We also have a car, too. And it's like, um, gee, the poor guy was just looking in our direction. He didn't say anything. So I don't know why you're, you're just assuming that he's talking about your car. Number five, I guess. Number five. 
<gasps> Congolese people have amazing food. Like, I love Congolese food. <sighs> Congolese people have amazing food. If you've never had cassava, not not cassava, not cassava roots. Get some cassava leaves. You you're good. <laughs> this is gonna this is gonna be kind of disgusting, but I love it. Love this is like one of my favorite dishes. It's like a delicacy. It's a delicacy. But all of you all of you white people and some black people would will be like ew disgusting. But like let me explain. During rain season, you know what I mean. And when the rain is raining. You know, we, there's ant holes on the ground, right? You, you know what I'm saying? There's ant holes. So the rain will rain, and then it will kill all the ant and the ant holes, and all the ant will rise up, and then the sand will rise down. You know what I'm saying? And in my language, it's called inswa. That's what it's called. It's literally ants. <laughs> <laughs> not the ants you see here those ants are like delicious i'll never eat the ants from here i'll only eat the ants from back home the ones back home are special the ones here are ugh. but like and and you take it you put it in water and you let all that sand in and in the in, in in like you know there's all the sand hiding somewhere it's like the sandiest dish ever but if you if you prepare it properly it's an amazing dish if you don't prepare it properly it's gonna be hell Okay, because you're gonna be eating sand for days. Sand for days. And that's not cute. Trust to me. Ain't cute. Um Yeah, food is amazing. I love the food. Like oh, fuck sakes. Number six. Have you people seen how much Congolese people like to party? Oh music dancing. You know like Congolese people will dance for anything, like anything and everything Congolese people would dance at. Yo, have you heard some Congolese music though? Congolese music, Congolese music is lit. Lit, lit, lit. You know? Let me, let me, let me. Oh, my Google, my Google Home is unplugged. You know when, I start, when you unplug it, it's like the worst thing ever because you're so used to always having it there. And when it's not there, you're like, okay, Google, and it's not even listening to you. It's like, bitch, where you at? And it's, that's off topic but uh what are you gonna say oh congolese congolese music is lit have you ever listened to a willow if you if if you want to if you want to venture in the world of congolese music search up some fale e pupa some coffee a la mide some a willow a willow what's his last what's his full name a willow a willow a bear a willow lubomba or something like that. You can get to some wear a song. Oh, Congolese Christian music is also so lit. You could turn up to Christian music. <laughs> like, ah! If you want, if you want to check that out as well, search up some Char Charlotte Mumbaya. Search up some, um, um, what's his name? Um, Michael, Mike Kalambai. Search up some group, the glad. There's just, oh, there's just so many. There's just so many. It, con you can turn up to, you can turn up to, gospel music you can turn up to turn up music it does not matter where you are the, the parents turn up to gospel music because the beat is like dun, 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 and you're like and then, you know you can still dance to it you know what i mean you're, you're you're turning up for god and then you can turn up to like freaking fally poopa you know you can in 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 it it all works it all works you know what i'm saying you know what? let me let me plug my google home so you can hear something <laughs> You guys all heard this song.
that was Carolina by Awila Labomba. Something like that. Anyways, and finally, Congolese people are just so prideful, so beautiful, and just so amazing. And as a Congolese person, I love telling people I'm from Congo. I'm like, where, there, where are you from? I'm like, I'm from Central Africa. Then, but most people, are, most people are too dumb to know where the hell Central Africa is or what's in Central Africa. So I have to be like, oh, Congo. And then they're like, Whereas if you're like Kinshasa, I'm like Kinshasa, bitch. Even though it's the same thing. But anyways, um, uh, but I'm so happy being from Congo. Like if you go on my Instagram, it's always Congo, Congo, Congo. Beautiful girl, Congo. Beautiful Congolese girls. I, 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 in my, on my bio, it's like made in Congo. Everything is Congo. You know what I'm saying? I am so happy and so proud of being from such a beautiful country. And I just, and I'm so glad that they got their independence, even though even though it does not they don't feel that free right now but they will be soon and i'm here waiting for that so i can go back home and get some good food and some good music you know what i'm saying and they're just they're just amazing people okay if you I don't know if you don't have a congolese friend get you some you know what i'm saying it's gonna be a whole new world Okay, we we we're lit as people, and we always like to look good. It doesn't matter where we're going; we always like to look good. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I hope you guys can also help me celebrate this beautiful country. And I hope you guys will also love all the things that I said about this, my beautiful home. And if you're from Congo, let me know if you can relate to what I'm saying. Because I, I know you all know it's the truth. Okay? I know you all know it's the truth. So let me know in the comments if you can relate to what I'm trying to say. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And subscribe to my channel and share and like. And i see you guys all in the next video. Bye! MK Lucy is out.